freaking Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness. There's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. Check out the hard-hitting offense of Nakamura. And I don't see Shinsuke slowing down anytime soon. Crank in the head. Yeah. Left by the turnbuckles. Aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. Able to sidestep it. Haymaker connects. Slight blade. He thinks he has it. And a quick kick out. How did he do that? Oh, across the top. I don't think he had it fully locked in. He is looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Oh, man. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. Guys, I have to admit, it's truly hard to 
to watch when a rivalry goes from competition to something more personal and sinister. Yeah, this is not about winning or losing anymore. This is all about destroying each other, no matter the cost, no matter the casualties. Someone... Get really hurt, guys. And that was a precise... Hoping to end it here! This is it. out of that by the skin of their teeth. Yeah. Bullseye with the drop kick. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the... some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Yeah. Vicious right forearm. Side slam. Nice. What's he open to find down there? A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Oh, my God. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. One wicked attack after another. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. And things are just going from bad to worse. Seth Rollins desperately needs to figure this out. Rollins has to devise a new plan. Boom! Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to find out. Uh-oh. They can see that reflection in the announcement. Oh, landslide! You have to think of these superstars' well-being right now. They need help. You're taking years off your career when you perform something so reckless. We knew we were in for something special between these competitors, but they are taking things over their own limits. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Shinsuke Nakamura. Landslide by Shinsuke Nakamura. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Great counter. Seth weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Wait for it. Two shots. Holy cow, a taste of his own medicine. He kicks out before the count starts. He just said no way. Not to my own move. And we know Rollins has a temper. You have to think he's starting to get in his own head a bit. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Getting back into the ring. Here is 
Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura wins here quite impressively. Come on, guys, sing along with me. Oh. Shut up, Saxton. You're embarrassing yourself. An excellent high flyer with an amazing family lineage. But now is looking to make his name at his family's expense. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Dominic. Mysterio! It's been very rewarding to watch Dominic Mysterio grow into his own man, to control his own destiny. Well, some would say that Dominic Mysterio these days is walking down a very dark path in his career. What amazes me about Dominic Mysterio is that he says he has absolutely no regret about his new direction. Well, I happen to be extremely proud of Dominic and feel that he should be proud of himself. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 247 pounds, unhinged Hustler. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start. The countdown is almost over. This match about to get started with a superstar trying to prove they have what it takes against the champ. This is going to be quite an uphill battle. Proving yourself against the champ can get you noticed. While this isn't a title match, you know there's still a lot on the line for this superstar. And in the other corner is Dominic Mysterio, a young star with a legendary heritage. Well, Mysterio, hold on a second, could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Give up now. How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Oh, and a big uppercut. And again. Great win. Where's on your opponent? Dominic Mysterio is practically raised in the ring, Corey. That's going to weigh on the mind of his opponent here tonight, no? While it's a factor, it doesn't make him superhuman. Mysterio still has a long career ahead of him, and there are still always things to learn in the WWE. He's got plenty of education, but a skilled opponent can still capitalize on Dom's inexperience. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Oh. 
Terry Press. Ooh. And Mysterio hasn't quite learned the defense for that attack yet. Quick reflexes from Dominic. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oof, smacked by the back fist. Lights out. DDT connects. Uh-oh. Going for the ride. Top slam. Sister Abigail. Dominic in crisis mode. This is nothing short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre. So eerie. And Welcome get worse. to Sister. <laughs> that puts him in total control. For the win. Two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Unhinged Hustler. Wrestle, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. The following champion versus champion contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 439 pounds, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. And their opponents at a combined weight 478 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. some tag team action. These two will be starting things off for their respective teams as we get into this.
Tags May, this is classic tag team wrestling. Double team in effect. Ooh, ooh. Perfect chemistry on the same page. Thunderous right hand. Got all that with his face, and now Sammy is bleeding good. Just hot shot it to the outside. This will not end well. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Got it. Damian Priest oh, hit the lights. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Cover. Two. Got it. And the tag titles change hands here tonight. Here are your winners. And the Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And these two really do make the perfect pair. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. The Irish Ace, ready for a fight. The following contest is a last man standing match. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. has recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. Yeah, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone.
It's time the bell is rung. This last man standing match begins now. Settle in, everyone. The only word to describe this kind of match is grueling. This won't be quick, and it definitely won't be pretty. Hoist it up. Big power slam. Beautiful standing switch into the gut buster. Very effective. He's absorbed some damage already. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Oh, God. Uh oh, mandible claw, mandible claw. Is that all she wrote for McDonough? Uh oh, mandible claw. Yes. 
pressure in, and it could cost him. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. And there's seven. This is not good. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Here is your winner, Ray Wyatt. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. The original bro has arrived. Saxton, didn't you ride one of those to the arena today? The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. The original bro, Matt. Don't let the scooter fool you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high-flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so many ways. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. Drew McIntyre has a fire that's been ignited in him that we have never seen before. The Scottish Warrior ready to reign supreme. And at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match.
Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, look as focused as ever here in this one. Aggression personified. The Viking Raiders never turn it off. If you find yourself in their way, well, good luck to you. The raid is on here tonight. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. Top rope. to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.
The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental <laughs> Champion, Gunther! Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. They call Gunther the ring general, a moniker he earned for the impressive combat tactics he employs in his matches, tactics which can be as devastating as they are genius. You could easily mistake Gunther for a big Austrian brute, but he's a very cerebral competitor. Before he even climbs through the ropes, he's already devised multiple avenues of attack. That has helped Gunther stay one step ahead of the competition. He's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. But let's not overlook his competition, Chad Gable. This is a former Olympic athlete we're talking about. Gable devastates his opponents with his unmatched athletic ability and his cunning in-ring tactics. In fact, I heard rumors that the guy can dribble a bowling ball. He's that talented. Uh, I have to respect what Gable can do in the ring, but those tactics you mentioned are also callous. Turn fire from Gable. Oh, there you go. Countouts legal in this match. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Drop kick from behind. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Corey, what's the biggest mistake a WWE superstar could make when in the ring with Chad Gable? The worst thing they could do is overlook Gable. Gable may not be as big as other superstars, but he can tie you up in knots and tap you out quickly. You need to treat Gable like the threat he is. And he's able to reverse. Oh, what a chop. That'll light you up. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Extreme amount of pressure in this. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He breaks the ref's count before two. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain. Uh oh. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Pinning down their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. Oh, foot just stomping down. He's heading up top. 
Thinking big. Taking flight. Whoa, look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Still not and done. Again. Yikes. And the ring general, Gupta, with a salute of sorts to the WWE Universe. Being carried around with ease. This is what I like to see. Approaching Chad Gable like the threat he is and neutralizing Gable's wrestling skills. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Catches Guther with a big counter. Oh, good night. Sorry. Left by the turnbuckles. <laughs> Turning the tables there. It started out a few short weeks ago with a few choice words has turned into an all-out blood feud between them. This is a level of aggression that few take it to. This could do it. Kick out just before two. There is no quit in this man tonight. He gets back into the ring. Gunther wants to finish this. Oh, Big opening for Gunther to take this. Gable was waiting for it. Snap there, takedown. And Gunther starting to really feel the wind. Gunther wants to finish this. Delivering a powerbomb. Terrible oh, position for Gable. Kick out. Lesson number one from the Alpha Academy is tenacity. That's it. It is just unbelievable. And Gupta's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show. From the top. What a dive. Looking for the victory. Two. And the victory. Here is your winner, Gunther! And he certainly proved himself a superstar to watch with this one. Chad went from ready, willing, and gable to ready, willing, and beaten. One of the best superstars around. The following is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Adelaide, Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bruiser Reed. This is a match that folks have been clamoring for, and they are excited to finally on, get it. Go. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. Make way for a ruthless opportunist. Hey, a true Blackheart and his opponent. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! A multiple-time NXT champion and has also held the NXT tag titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way.
can't superstars endure in a match like this? Winning a match is always important, but this match is about survival. The punishment sustained in a cage match has shortened superstars' careers. That's why it's a fight or flight situation. Win or lose, this is a match where the end result can be absolutely disastrous. Ball from the rope. Crushing knee strike. letting his opponent know who the real top guy is. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. The steel cage contains all the disdain superstars have for one another. Corey, what does the superstar have to do to come out on top? You need to be keenly aware of the situation at all times. There are a number of ways to win. Uh-oh. Good timing with that reversal. Was coming. Move on, it. Champa gets countered there. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh my goodness! Launched into the cage. Look at this. Trying to shatter the ankle. Another knee drop. With the legs hooked. Could be looking for it. Stepped over, Cloverleaf submission is in. The official asking him, is he gonna tap it? He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Oh, short knee right to the body. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. The twisted mind of Tommaso Ciampa getting into a place many of us dare not know. Project Champa! Champa! Fairy tale ending! And Champa was right on target. Champa putting the finishing touch on this one. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, Tommaso Champa. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamroller. The following contest oh, is scheduled for arrived. one fall. Making our way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Universe Becky Lynch. Lynch. She is as tough as they come. Yeah, Becky Lynch has had to overcome countless challenges in her career, both in and out of the ring. You know, she's the first female competitor to hold two world titles at the same time.
became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the men. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. And from Shamal, New Jersey, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Sonya Deville. Oh, here's a cunning opportunist. Careful how you speak about Sonya Cole. She happens to have a very gifted mind for this business, both as an official and from bell to bell. We know what they say, guys. To be the man, you have to beat the man. And she's about to face the man. Not gonna go down without the fight of her life tonight. Throughout her career, Becky Lynch has had different styles, even different nicknames. But one thing that's never changed is her conviction as a competitor. She gives her all in everything that she does. And that persistence, that refusal to back down for what she believes in has earned her the respect of the WWE Universe. They know Lynch won't give up on something if she thinks it's worth fighting for. At times, it has seemed more like stubbornness, but throughout her career, that unwavering commitment is... And here we go. Look into the old bar. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. And there was some force on that move. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Punishing stretch. Sonya Deville connected with a solid shot. How does one contend with a superstar who is as ruthless in the ring as Sonya Deville? I think the only way to overcome Sonya's tenacity in the ring is to match it. You have to have that killer instinct when you're dealing with her. If you pull any punches, she'll run right over. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Towards the pin attempt and won. This match continues on. Lynch now on the offensive. Ooh, she had enough of that. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Lynch is losing command in this one. Becky's facing adversity here. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Oh boy. Wait, no! Into a power bomb! Oh! Three! Four! DeVille clearly feeling mighty proud of herself right about now. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, underhook suplex. <laughs> Becky Lynch hoists her up. Oh, manhandle slam. This is troublesome, Bo DeVille. Time to celebrate a massive victory here. What a win. What a battle. Oh, Wait for the oh, no, with a kendo stick. What the? Why? What, what is this superstar trying to prove? Just ambushing from behind with a kendo stick.
Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. The personification of dominance in NXT and WWE since day one. Yeah, I think we can all agree that Raquel Rodriguez is getting better with every match. Even when she makes short work of her opponent. division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Universal Champion, Rhea. Rhea's had plenty of accolades. She's held the NXT UK and the NXT Women's Championship. Now, such an impressive resume for Rhea Ripley, but man, is she intimidating. Yeah, it's no easy task to face down Rhea Ripley. Always ready to eradicate any obstacle in her way. Call her the Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. Rhea Ripley is a competitor who wears her reputation on her sleeve. An absolute cutthroat grappler with a bad attitude. She's always ready to ruthlessly deal with anyone that gets in her way. In Rhea's eyes, her opponent tonight is just another hurdle for her to smash through. And standing opposite her is Raquel Rodriguez, one of the true powerhouses here in the WWE Women's Division. Women like Raquel are truly few and far between. Her career is just starting, but you can already see a lot of raw talent there. She's putting it together with each match she has. to come out swinging and control the tempo of the match. Well, you have to come out swinging just as hard, if not harder. Matching Ripley blow for blow might be the only way to convince her that you're a serious threat. She manages to get control. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great abdominal stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. Scouted by Ripley. Suplex. Ooh. Oh, what a leg drop. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. No. Flame shot sent on to the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Close line. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. She pops the shoulder up in one. 
shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. A little cockiness here from Raquel. Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook. There's the rope tie. No way Raquel's getting cover. Two count. That was an incredible victory. I agree with you. Looks to me like the wheels were spinning. Not finished just oh yet. My, oh, a ladder? No. Really? A ladder? You've already won the match. Put the put it down. Go.